Outrider Sonny Dodd of Monticello leads them onto the field here at DuCoin at the top of the stretch for the 13th and final race of the night. Win play show exact a trifecta wagering on the County Fair Challenge for three-year-old pacing Phillies. Again, the County Fair Challenge now in its 18th year. And folks, with this race, the County Fair Challenge reaches a milestone. It goes over $1 million in purses combined that have been paid out in this series dating back to 1986. Let's meet the starters for race 13. Number one, OG Susie P is owned by Ernie Smith of Clinton, Mississippi, trained by Mike Rogers. The driver is Ron Marsh. Number two is M.A. Specta, owned by Harold Coach Poor of Carmi. He's the trainer. His son-in-law, Phil Knox, is the driver. Number three, Maria Maria, owned by Fred Finn Jr. of Newton, by Jackson Loy of Beecher City, trained and driven by Fred Finn Jr. Number four, Apple Dumpling, owned by Melissa and Frank Fisher of Albion, trained by Frank Fisher. The driver is Del Chupp. Number five, Illini Jude, owned by Brian Lohman of Villa Grove and Jack Dodd of Seidel, trained by Rick Schrock, the driver Michael Osting. Number six, C.J.R. Bogert, is owned by Charles and Patrick Wolf of Harvard, trained by Charles Wolf, the driver Dave McGee. Number seven is Fancy Muffler, owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago, and Terry Duffy of Lamont, trained by Bill Aggers. The driver is Tom Simmons. Number eight, Sporty Sally, owned by Brandy Malloy of West Salem, trained and driven by Pat Malloy, Jr. Number nine, Fancy Cat, is owned by Dr. Peter Karras of Sherman, trained and driven by Adrian Price, Jr. of White Hall, Illinois. And number 10, Astra Destiny, is owned by Sharon Higgs of Altamont, trained and driven by Roy Finn. The County Fair Challenge for sophomore pacing Phillies will be at the post in less than three minutes. They're off and pacing. C.J.R. Bogert goes for the lead. That's no surprise. She loves the front end, and there she goes to get the top spot into the first turn. Astra Destiny is furiously trying to clear the inside traffic from the far outside starting spot. She's still parked going around the first turn, and she's up to challenge C.J.R. Bogert for the lead. Astra Destiny leads it by three parts of a length. C.J.R. Bogert goes second by a length and a half. Sporty Sally is parked third, a half length. And then OG's Susie P, followed by M.A. Specta. Opening quarter went in 20. 27 and 4. CJR Bogert regains the lead from Astra Destiny. There goes Sporty Sally moving up into second. Further back, OG Susie P is fourth. MA Speck to fifth. Then Maria Maria, Apple Dumpling on the outside, followed by Illini Jude, Fancy Muffler, and Fancy Cat is racing last, 10 lengths off the lead. Sporty Sally has made the top. She leads it now by a length. CJR Bogert is second a length. Astra Destiny to the outside from third. Here she comes again. MA Specta alertly moves up with cover behind her. The half in 56 and 1. Sporty Sally leads at three parts of a length. Astra Destiny second on the outside. M.A. Specta right behind her. C.J.R. Bogert shuffled to fourth just over two lengths off the lead. And then Apple Dumpling is up on the outside three lengths from the front in fifth. Followed by O.G. Susie P. Then Illini Jude who angles three wide from center pack and they're at the three quarters. Astra Destiny and Sporty Sally side by side. Here comes M.A. Specta in the center of the track. One length off the lead. Three quarters. 125 and 1. Astra Destiny between horses. M.A. Specta far outside. C.J.R. Bogert looks for room. Sporty Sally is there toward the inside. Fancy Mufflers on the grandstand side. They're coming from everywhere past the eighth pole. Into the final eighth mile. M.A. Specta has the lead. Then C.J.R. Bogert. Now here's O.G. Susie P. with a late rush. O.G. Susie P. to challenge M.A. Specta. Fancy Mufflers third. O.G. Susie P. by a half length over M.A. Specta's second. Fancy Muffler third. What a way to close out the first ever card under the lights at DuCoin. Wow, 154 and 1. Ernie Smith of Clinton, Mississippi, owns OG Susie P. Two wins on the night for Mike Rogers as trainer. Two wins on the night for Ron Marsh as driver. Marcus Turner and Jamaica Patton congratulating Ron Marsh right now in the winner's circle. Willie Jones is there. Folks, how about a hand for OG Susie P.? One fifty-four and one, a new lifetime record for this Anthony P. Philly, bred by Bill Weinberger's Open Gate Farm in Martinsville, as Mr. John Rednauer Jr. now makes presentation of the trophy. Ron, we were just telling the folks as they went to the starting gate for this final race that was as fine a bunch 
of three-year-old pacing fillies off the county fair circuit you'll find anywhere in the country. Turning for home, coming off the last turn, you brought this filly from off the pace. How did it look from your vantage point at the head of the stretch? I was a little worried. I knew uh, Phil Knox's filly been racing good, and I'm not familiar with any of these fillies, so I just kind of took the advice to my trainer. Uh, he, he told me just she's got one real good, nice move, try to keep her as close to the lead as possible without getting too far back, and she should fire for me. And that's uh, just what she did. You know, we had a zigzag a little bit, but uh, that's, that's part of racing. That's the fun of it. You've been in the winter circle twice tonight for that trainer, Mike Rogers. Mike is 23 years of age. He'll turn 24 in December. Is it fun for you as a driver to see a young and up-and-coming trainer like that in the winter circle? Oh, for sure. You know, it just shows what this industry is doing over a period of the last 30 years. You know, we're, we're evolving, we're, uh, we're changing, and new trainers are coming along all the time. Uh, these Colts, you know, we got some very nice Colts in these Colt sales. Uh, everybody should get involved. There's a lot of trainers out here that, that would like to train some horses for these people. And he's just one example of, of a new and upcoming trainer that can get the job done. And, uh, you know, it's just a great industry. A lot of fun things happening in Illinois. Folks, we know it's late. One more round of applause here tonight at the coin for our winning driver, Mr. Ron Marsh.